Next question is from Grant Lee. How would you recommend starting a career as a trainer right now with the COVID situation? Maybe, maybe the single hardest thing to do right now. I got it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It's I mean, so it's weird. Gotta, it's got to be up there. It's so weird. If COVID yeah. wasn't happening right now, um, I my recommendation would have been go to a big box gym, get certified, learn the ropes, learn how to sell training, learn how to sell yourself, build up a clientele, prove to yourself that you could become successful, be the top trainer there. Then if you want to do better, then you could go into a private studio and do that kind of stuff. But gyms are closed, um, and the ones that are open are limited. Um, a lot of a lot of towns and cities are saying things like, you can be open, but only 25% capacity. So that is out the window right now. If, if I were to start as a trainer now, that wouldn't even be an option. Um, what I would probably do is I would build some kind of a online authority, social media following, and then I would try to train people one-on-one -on -one outdoors in person. And I would meet up, you know, hey, meet me at the park. I'm going to take you through a workout where I'm training three people at a time. Um, we're going to go hiking and do some resistance training outside. I think the demand for health and fitness is just as high, if mm -hmm. not higher than it was before. You know, here's the thing about personal training. Yeah. People who tend to hire personal trainers tend to be in higher income brackets. People in the higher income brackets right now are more protected from the economic downturn than people in lower income brackets. So personal trainers, if you position yourself properly, there's probably a lot of people out there that still want to hire a trainer. You just have to do it outside of a gym. Yeah, it's just more difficult to uh, just stumble across them. And so you really have to do a lot of work uh, at, you know, how do I market myself and promote myself to attract you know, that type of a client and maybe it's an in-home situation where, you know, their backyard or something is, you know, something you can utilize. Uh, that's something that, I mean, I was able to structure my whole business around that. So that's, that's a, that's a potential option now, which I think uh, a lot of smart trainers have pivoted and, 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 and made their business mobile so they could go travel and then account for the costs of travel and all those things to bring into it. But if you're a brand new trainer, uh, you know, getting time under your belt, it's really difficult right now. And, I, and I've seen, uh, I've seen some tech companies and, and, uh, I know one of them was like Fusionetics. I think I just saw was looking for to hire online coaches just solely. Right. So they have the platform and they're trying to like pull in trainers to just help kind of coach them through these, uh, you, you know, portals that they have provided for them. So I think there's like, there, there may be ways to at least get introduced to people online and then kind of spawn off and create what you're talking about with a, a social media presence to get, you know, more people, but it's going to be difficult. Like you got to get creative. Well, this is a, this is a good conversation because Andrew and I were just having this conversation maybe what, three, four days ago. Andrew's behind the cameras, uh, but is an aspiring trainer. And, you know, and that was one of the things that he was vocalizing to me recently is just, you know, Adam, I love everything I do here. Um, but I also really, really want to, you know, move into training clients. I mean, that's what his degree's in. He's been around physical therapy. He's been listening. To, he knows all the information that we've been presenting for a long time. And so we talked a lot about this. And one of the things that I was explaining to him that is going to be one of the hardest things to do right now and is one of the most important things for you having a consistent business is lead generation. Uh, you know, the, the old school method or what we would recommend most times to people is what Sal said, which is you know, go to a big box gym. The reason why a big box gym is great. It's filled lead, with people working yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> leads. You know, gets uh, the average gym that's the, uh, like a big twenty-four lifetime fit. One of those gyms gets fifteen hundred to three thousand workouts a day. That's fifteen hundred to three thousand opportunities that you have as a trainer to potentially get them as a client. Uh, that doesn't exist right now. So, how are you getting just people in front of you, or listening to you, or paying attention to you? Now, depending on what medium speaks best to you, or what you use the best. So, whether that be uh, writing, like blogging, or uh, you're good on camera, so YouTube, uh, or maybe you're great at writing Instagram posts, or maybe you have quick short facts or stuff that would go good on Twitter. Whatever the medium that I think that you do the best on. You want to double and triple down on that on adding value. So you can just start to gather 
your audience or gather your potential leads. So that would be my first piece of advice. And then flip the script on like this being such a struggle right now. Like it makes it difficult for you to get out and meet people. But this is where I would be doing my studying and learning. It's like, okay, I don't get a lot of time to be out Mm -hmm. with people and seeing people. I guess this is a great time for me to further my education. So I'm going to be trying to learn as much as I can during this time when we're not out socializing and being around people. And then I'm going to share that information that I'm learning on these whatever platforms I do best on. And that is, and I'm just, and what I'm not trying to do is sell people yet. I'm not trying to mm-hmm. convert you into a client. I'm not trying to sell you on personal training. I'm just trying to provide uh, information for free to add value to the people that potentially are paying attention to me and begin to build your network. Don't think about the dollar amount. Don't think about training the clients right now. Just think about generating leads and your litmus test on if you're doing a good job of that is are you adding people? Do you write a blog and does it get shared? Do you write a post on Instagram and do people comment on it or do people DM you about it? And if you're not getting people to comment on something that you're providing for free, then you need to up your game. You need to get better at it. Well, that means you further your education or redraft whatever it is that you're putting out there my main focus right now would be educate myself and then use one of these social media platforms to add value to others' lives to start to build a network of people. 